882 is a decade old now at this point, which feels so incredibly weird to say because it doesn't feel like it's that old. I've been playing Payday 2 since 2014 when a good friend gifted it all the way back on Steam. I played a little of it, but because of my terrible PC at the time, I just completely skipped the PC version for a very long time and went with the Crime Wave edition on PS4. Which, in all honesty, wasn't all that better because the lack of updates killed this version entirely. But despite all of this, it was the version that I stuck with the most. And I had a lot of fun playing it. That is, until 2017, when I finally got my hands on my very first gaming PC, which was powerful enough to play many modern day titles, and one of them being Payday 2. Ever since, I've been constantly playing this game for the longest time of my life. I managed to build around 605 hours in this game in total playtime, and while that isn't nearly impressive to many more Payday 2 veterans, it's honestly a game that I keep coming back to no matter how good or bad the circumstances are with a company that made the game. As I'm making this video right now, Payday 2 received its hopefully final DLC heist back in June of this year. That makes Payday 2 a game that's been in development for roughly 10 years, which is an impressive number for a live service game of its kind. Especially if you take into consideration that many live service games coming out today manage to stay alive for a few years at best. So yeah. Hats off over to Starbreeze who have stuck around this long to get Payday 2 to the point where it is. And of course to all the people who are still working at the company. However, the main focus of this video isn't Payday 2, it's more about the upcoming follow-up that, depending on when this video gets out, Payday 3. Throughout the period of September 8th all the way to September 11th, Starbreeze held a public beta for Payday Free for everyone on Steam and Xbox to participate in. There was also the closed beta in August, which I did request a beta access for when that was live, but I was unlucky and didn't get access to the game's beta during that period at all. But that's completely fine because first this beta. And the reason why they hosted it publicly is to stress test the game's servers in preparation for the game's launch on all platforms, which meant that everyone who couldn't participate in the closed beta has the chance to do so now during the weekend. And that is what I precisely did. I'm going to give my first impressions on the game purely based on the experience I have as a Payday 2 veteran, which I think is a fair thing to call myself after playing it for more than 9 years of my life. Now, this is very important to mention that the build used in this beta is from April of this year. Many things will differ from this version compared to the release version once that's out. Speaking of which, I will also try to make a video off the game's full version after it gets released. So without further ado, let's check this out. All right, so here we are in the No Rest for the Wicked, the heist this beta has to offer. And in case you're wondering, yes, I actually went and changed my settings because yeah, this beta ran really poorly. I seriously hope that this isn't what the game will end up running like once it's out because yeah, right now the performance absolutely is one of my biggest complaints about this beta. Moving on to the actual heist itself, I'm getting a lot of Harvest and Trusty Bank and First World Bank vibes a lot with this one. Probably because they're pretty similar in execution, I guess. You're not gonna see any stealth gameplay because one, I suck at stealth and usually playing in a public lobby leads to going loud anyways. Which, uh, spoiler alert, that's exactly what happened here. Speaking of which, uh, if you're watching the footage, which I hope you do, I actually was trying to figure out how I could get the civilians to, uh, stay down so I could tie them with cable ties. 
I thought that it was pretty much the exact same in Payday 2, which uh, by default is F, but no, that did not work at all, and I instead let the civilians go escape, which was not my intention at all. Going back to the heist, if you end up going loud, you have to wait for Shade, that's your handler in this game by the way, to send in a back of thermite for you to go burn a hole that leads into the vault through the floor above it. Something I'm sure a lot of paid the heist fans are probably not surprised of. You can also pick up some extra bags of thermite to add onto the process to speed it up. And while I'm at it, interestingly enough, throughout the entirety of this heist, there is zero drilling involved. Yes, not a single bro dick piece of shit drill that requires you to repair it after it gets jammed every five seconds. That's amazing. Once a Fermat has burned through, you can finally get inside of a hole and lockpick the door open with all of the cash bundles inside of it. However, once you do that, it will trigger a few second countdown of die packs that are about to go off. If you don't defuse these in time, All that cash has become essentially worthless at this point. You can still carry over the inked cash over to the escape van, but I'm pretty sure that the value is just completely worthless at this point, but it's not worth to bring it over. Speaking of which, in order to make your escape, you have to go through this alleyway here back to the main street and then lower some bullards because, well, they're not letting you escape. Once that's done, you'll have to wait for a minute for the escape van to arrive, and until then, the cops are absolutely going full on on you, so you and your team have to be extremely careful. Once the escape van finally arrives, make sure that you load up the van with all the cash that you have bagged up and escape. And that's the gist of No Rest for the Wicked on Loud. I know I just basically went through the whole heist itself real quick without going into much detail, and that's because I want to save it up for when I eventually get to the full release version of Payday Free, when that releases in a few days from now. So what I'm going to do instead is look at the game's inner workings real quick, as well as compare that with Payday 2's. All right, so a couple of things based on what I learned. Weapon attachments are now unlocked by leveling up your weapons. In order to level up said weapons, you have to simply play a heist with the weapon you want to level up equipped. So far, a nice change. There's no offshore account system anymore. All of your money goes directly to you, which I can only say thank God for this change. I guess it doesn't matter since I stopped caring about it because I made so much money during my nine years of playing Payday 2 that it doesn't matter anymore, but still a change I think everyone can welcome. Cable ties are infinite now, and if you actually free a hostage during control phases, they will drop some health for you to heal up with. While it is nice, I hope this gets expanded to more than health, something like armor pieces and ammo boxes will be cool. You don't actually start fully loaded during heists, meaning that you can run out of ammo pretty fast. On top of this, the way armor and health work is completely different. If your armor breaks, it's gone. You'll have to equip some extra armor pieces in order to stay safe, but other than that, you are completely fucked if you don't have any armor on you. This game really wants to emphasize the focus on co-op, since the game feels a lot more harder in general compared to Payday 2. I'm sure I missed some things, like how the new skill system works. I sadly haven't really paid much attention to that, something that I will course correct when the game launches and I make a video on it. And now that leads me to my experience with playing with my friends. So, I tried to play this game together with some of my pals, and it took us forever to figure it out. I don't know how or why, but after we disabled crossplay in the settings and restarted our game, we finally managed to queue up for a lobby. So you're getting a very small compilation of what there was during our playtime. Uh, spoiler alerts, it's just a bunch of funny stuff. Yeah, oh my god, it worked! Okay, Wait. thank god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm asking Starbreeze for money, bro. Fine. Come on, England, score. Fucking go! Oh yeah, I'm bringing armor. Cause like... I got med bag! I need a medic bag! Bro. Why is it green? Bro, really, someone should- Bro, someone should uh, like, uh, join the game award- the other stream? Someone should know. like, sneak up on Joff and this year's game awards and stuff like, uh... Stealing his microphone and going like on oh, GTA 6, uh, we should start singing Skibbity Toilet so National so Anthem. Uh, Zdravo, my name is Miroslav from Croatia, uh, Hrvatska. Uh, I, I love Payday, but I cannot play Payday Heist. 
free on, on, on my computer. Let's listen. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, it happened again. Someone already made that as a I don't know if you saw. Who's streaming me full? Oh my god, you. You, you, Is that like no. a beta YouTuber or something? I need more bullets. I need more bullets. More bullets. I need bullets. I need more bullets. Bigger weapons. Bigger weapons. Bigger weapons. Wow, sir, that's a lot of protein. <coughs> yeah, I'm just going in custody. I don't care. Just escape. He died. Just escape. I don't care. <laughs> this is the third time this happened that I. So yeah, that was Payday Freeze Beta, and with everything said and done, I am honestly looking forward to play this game when it drops on Friday. No, I haven't bought any of the more expensive versions of a game that have early access to the game included. I want to save up some dough first. Speaking of which, uh, breaking news, Starbreeze actually announced that they are removing the Denuvo DRM from the game completely. Thank God. I'm sure that this will lead to the game running much better on PCs, now then with it included and i certainly hope that this will lead to more publishers dropping the new altogether as a long time payday 2 heister i am looking forward to what this game has to offer in the future and i can't wait to play this game with some of my friends at launch i do have some concerns about other stuff mainly how the always online aspect will be treated and the treatment of console heisters once the console version drops also but other than that everything looks Pretty promising here. And with that being said, time for the outro. Hey, I'm gonna keep this real quick because I don't have much to say. First and foremost, I wanna thank my pals who were down with playing Payday Free together with me after all the trouble we went through of setting the game up. It was fun and that small montage of funny clips that I included wouldn't have been possible without them. Also shoutouts to all the strangers I played with in public lobbies because all of y'all have been doing a job of playing the game so far. This video was a great learning experience on how to make video reviews, even though this one wasn't really much of a review but more of an overview of Payday Freeze beta in general and what we can expect when the game drops this week soon. And all things considered, I will definitely review Payday Free when I have the time and not be lazy again. I definitely want to do something else before Payday Free drops, so I hope that whatever I have cooking will be bananas. So without further ado, thank you for watching and see you until next time. Ten years in the joint made you a fucking pussy!